Hey everyone, welcome to the Gift Lab Runner 13 Dead Runner kickoff video. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna's here back, back with us as well. Hi, Anna, UX designer. Hi, Anna is going to cover everything that's happening on the UX side, and I'm going to cover what's happening in Runner Core and Runner Cloud for, um, for the 13 Dead Runner Zero. Hi, Anna, over to you. Hi, everyone. Let me share my screen so I can start telling you um, what's up uh, this milestone. So, one second. Um, there you go. Can you see my? It, right? Okay, cool. So yeah, we don't really have any new UI UX uh, related items planned for 1310, but we do have a number of uh, super cool improvements and uh, exciting initiatives that are happening at the higher level at the UX uh, and uh, product departments, but also related to jobs to be done evaluation. So the first one um, is related to um, ensuring that what we're building is related, it's, in, it's involved, it's involving, whoa. <laughs> Um, validating his experience. So as we continue to talk about the runner enterprise uh, management efforts, uh, we want to make sure that we have a high level of confidence on the features that we're shipping and prioritizing. So um, this issue proposes creating um, a survey to validate the jobs to be done that Darren have identified uh, through the customer interviews. There's so many customer interviews that he have um, done over the last uh, couple of months so that uh, we can better understand our buyers and user needs. So instead of new survey, new uh, interviews, we're gonna send out a survey um, to some of the customers so that they can help prioritize jobs to be done. And then in the future, once we get to the point where um, we are going to validate the maturity of some of these functionalities or some of the scenarios, we have uh, a map of the jobs to be done in the scenarios that relate to enterprise management. So this proposal was created um, this week. And if you're curious, please check it out. We're gonna continue iterating and working on this. And the next one is a shared OPR actually that we have uh, across product uh, and design. So uh, the UX department will work on uh, this an OKR uh, focus on usability improvements. So we want to improve the system usability score for our application. Um, and our focus as uh, design practitioners is to uh, um, find issues um, that can help uh, let users know what's happening in the system. So pretty much improving status indicators uh, and information across the application. So we're going to work on identifying some of these issues for runner uh, that we have in the backlog or that were related to usability insights that we have already identified. And our goal for this quarter, uh, the first quarter of the year, is to prioritize some of those. So um, I'm going to pass it over to Darren so he can cover uh, Runnercore and some of the cool cloud feature work. So, hey, thanks for having me. That was that's super interesting. Let me share my screen as well. Let me continue. And um, I really appreciate you joining our team and helping us get organized around everything UX, UI, and I, I know I butchered those terms. Um, but just to kind of tie off um, what Hyanna was talking about, folks, in terms of um, all the great work that has to happen from her team's perspective with jobs to be done and research, um, on our Runner Direction page here, for the folks that have been following on our Runner Direction page, we have this high level of vision. And we've been talking about, as you look at some of our categories, this kind of broad category, which probably needs some work with enterprise management. And this is kind of what Hyanna is helping us all here. And so we're really looking forward to kind of her leadership in figuring out. What the right next thing is, the right next best thing for us to build around all of those uh, capabilities, improving the user experience in the UI. So, really super looking forward to that. So, I just wanted to kind of highlight what Ayana was talking about and how it aligns with what we have here on this enterprise management theme. And we'll continue to iterate on that. So, Ayana, thank you. Um, so, back to, so specifically uh, in terms of what we're shipping um, for Runner Core again, the core runner binary that runs your CI jobs for GitLab. Um, in 13.10, I'll kind of go through this really quickly. Um, some of these we talked about the last time because we actually had some, some spillover from 13.9. So the first thing that we're looking to wrap up in 13.10 is the expansion of the variables in Rails. This is related to the feature of, to allow folks to specific, specify variables in the YAML file and we use those variables later on. I talked about this in 13.8 and 13.9, and actually maybe as far back as 13.7. We're still looking at is a very impactful change. It's a very complex bit, bit of code. We're pretty close. Um, there's some few changes that were suggested based on 
in the ongoing military press reviews. And so we're looking to wrap up this first piece of, first piece of code and ship it in 13.10. And then we'll be doing some other things in the UI as well around it. So this is related to the use variable inside other variable issue, and which is a highly, it's a very popular issue. It's been out for a while, a lot of folks want it. And so again, we're pretty close. We thought we were getting it in 39, but we are definitely pretty close and should ship this in 13.10. Um, the other thing that we're doing for 13.10 is that we will be migrating the GitLab runner operator, which we released in 13.7 um, for OpenShift. We'll be migrating that to, um, to GA. And so basically in 13.7, we released the operator for um, the GitLab runner operator for OpenShift. It's available now in Operator Hub from the beta channel. In 13.10, we'll be wrapping up open um, sort of enhancement requests. Um, a few capabilities that, that have been identified from folks that have been testing it out in the community, and then we'll be migrating it officially to the stable channel in Operator Hub, aka GA. So that's going to be great news for the folks that are using GitLab Runner or OpenShift. In 13.10, you'll have a version of the operator for OpenShift for the runner that's in the stable channel and it was fully supported by GitLab. Um, the other thing that I should want to call your attention to that's, that's really big, great news for us in 13.10 is the ability for us to finally support graceful shutdown on Windows. It's a very important feature for all folks that are on the Windows platform. We actually have a very solid merge request that's in flight and under review at the moment. And so we're introducing this capability in 13.10. It was very difficult for us to figure out how to do this. So, so kudos to Thomas Muzukin and to Aaron Wolf, who's been working on this. We have a really great implementation plan and how we are going to approach a very complex problem of being able to um, gracefully shut down uh, on Windows environments. Um, so here's the issue 4917. And the for folks that are, that are super interested in this, I just want to draw your attention to um, the related merge requests. There's a lot of great discussion happening in some of the, the logic and, and so on. So this is a, a, a major feature for us that's happening on a call that's currently planned to ship for 31.0. Now, the other thing that we're working on for 13.1 as well is two things related to the Kubernetes executor. The first one is supporting Git strategy. And so for, the, for those that know, we currently support various Git strategies in CI CD and GitLab. Um, we currently don't support the Git strategy CI CD setting in the Kubernetes executor on the runner. And this has been something that's been, been asked for um, for quite some time from the members of the user community. So in 13.1.0, we've been looking to get this going and hopefully finally shipping this capability in the Kubernetes executor for the runner. And last but not least, um, we in 13, that I think was seven or eight, we introduced this ability to configure multiple pull policy values for our Docker executor. Um, and this was a highly requested feature that allowed for providing resiliency when pulling container images using the Docker executor. Um, as a follow-on to that work, we're going to be adding that capability to Kubernetes, to, to Kubernetes executor, excuse me, basically rounding on that capability set. So now both our Docker executor for GitLab Runner as well as our Kubernetes executor will have this resiliency feature, the ability for a user to specify multiple pull policies. So um, our runner core goals for 13.10 in terms of must ship goals, we actually have more than we typically have, um, but that's just a testament to the acceleration from the, from the engineering team in terms of getting going on some of the, of the major capabilities and features that, that we want to deliver. So kudos to them. Uh, in terms of runner cloud, um, we are again heads down on the Mac OS build cloud um, development work. And for 13.10, we will be doing internal proof of testing on our autoscaler, which means we're pretty close to being ready to actually turn on the Mac OS build cloud um, in an open beta fashion for folks or, and, and customers that are on GitLab SaaS. So at 13.10, we'll be doing a lot of internal POC testing of our, on our newly developed autoscaler for Mac OS. And then that will lead into in the future releases, we'll be um, you'll see seeing forthcoming announcements around the Mac OS um, build cloud, open beta, and so on and so on for whatever that means. So that's it for 3.10. A bunch of cool things are coming in, of course. So we're super excited about that. We're making great progress on enterprise management and UX with high honest help. And then we're doing some great work um, as well with Runner Cloud that's going to set us up for things that are coming in 13.10, 13.11, sorry, as well as um, 14.0. So with that, Hayan, any, any parting words before we hang up today? Yeah. This is going to be the best release ever. <laughs> <laughs>
I couldn't have said it any better. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you next time. Cheers.